We just returned from the uh, GPM cold season precipitation experiment uh, held in uh, Ontario, Canada. And uh, it was a very successful experiment. Uh, we collected uh, the bulk of the data that we went up there to get. And I think everybody's very happy with the data set. I would say that it did not snow across the northern tier of the United States and southern Canada as much as we had hoped it would this year, but surprisingly enough, even given the, the relative lack of snow that we had, uh, we got all the events that we, that we basically wanted. Uh, one of the objectives for this field campaign was to test the range of uh, uh, snowfall uh, intensities uh, that, that occur and the idea being there that we would be able to sort of find where it is in that spectrum of events that we would actually be able to detect uh, falling snow from space uh, with the GPM core satellite. Through the uh, duration of the campaign, we uh, went the full six weeks using uh, all the aircraft hours uh, that were available to us on the DC-8. We flew about 14 missions for a total of about 75 flight hours. I sort of assumed we would show up and basically burn out our flight hours in a very short time up there and frequent heavy snowfall events. And, and what actually transpired is that we ended up using the entire duration of the field campaign to get our data sets because the snow events were sort of um, spaced fairly uh, regularly and uh, were not that heavy and we kept wanting to get the, the heavier event and it took us a while to get that. As you can see, it's snowing pretty good here this morning at the care site. Some pretty nice large aggregates. This is exactly what we're looking for. And it just keeps coming down. So we've completed the GCPEX experiment in terms of being on the ground and collecting the data. Uh, now a phenomenal effort actually goes into quality controlling all of the data that we collected. That is to make sure that all of those data sets um, that we collected are usable, um, that there's no bad data in the data sets, and that has to be done for uh, the huge number of ground instruments that were deployed, both radar, radars, uh, direct measurements of snowfall using gauges, uh, particle imaging systems, all of those data on the ground. And then you have to move to the aircraft data, which is also very complex because you've got several different probe types that were flying in the clouds, looking at different aspects of the precipitation. Uh, and all of that data has to be quality controlled. And then finally, you have the, the satellite simulator or the, the DC-8 that carried the, uh, the radiometer, the Cosmic radiometer and the APR2 radar. And all of those data have to be, and this is, we're talking gigabytes and terabytes really of data that has to be quality controlled. That will take on the order of six months to a year to accomplish. And that connection in between what I, what I measured during this field campaign to what I think I'm gonna see in space essentially encompasses the, the development uh, process of, of making an algorithm to retrieve the snowfall from space.